The Masonite Dynamic Warm-Up 7 Movements This video will demonstrate and examine the dynamic warm-up stretch exercises used at Masonite to prepare the body for movement. These stretches are performed before production, at the beginning of your shift, and after lunch, during your morning and afternoon huddles. When finished, always check that your PPE, including earplugs, eye protection, and gloves are properly in place before moving into a productive position. Welcome to the Masonite Dynamic Warm-Up Instructional Breakdown. We see athletes use dynamic movement to prepare and prime their bodies for competition. It is just as important that we, as industrial athletes, do the same. Unlike static stretching, a dynamic warm-up engages the muscles through active movement. A dynamic warm-up increases tissue temperature allowing muscles to contract more efficiently. Ligaments, tendons, and muscles become more pliable and can safely function when a load is placed on them. A dynamic warm-up also increases your heart rate which helps bring oxygenated blood to the muscles for a more efficient muscle contraction. There are seven exercises that make up Masonite's dynamic warm-up. These exercises prime large muscle groups such as the hamstrings and glutes as well as smaller muscle groups like the rotator cuff and forearm flexors and extensors. In total the warm-up takes a little over three minutes to complete. Let's get started. Movement 1. Shoulder Shrugs. 12 reps. With your arms at your sides. Elevate your shoulders up to your ears. Then retract the shoulders down and back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. This activates muscles in your posterior chain such as your rhomboids in your upper back. Protecting your shoulders and spine. This is especially helpful when pushing and pulling. Movement 2. Windshield Wipers. 12 reps. Begin with both arms outstretched. Then rotate your right arm to the right, with some twist in the torso. Bring your right arm back to the center, and repeat the same action with the left arm. Then, bring your left arm back to the center, and repeat the same motion with your right arm. Center then left center then right, back, and forth, for 12 reps. This movement helps to unilaterally open up the chest, to lengthen muscles that are often tight and restricted. Movement 3. Windmills. 6 reps forward, and 6 reps in reverse. Forward windmills. Bring your arms up overhead, and swim, forward. Minimize movement in the torso and focus on only moving the shoulders. For reverse windmills. Reverse, and swim backwards. Again, minimize your torso's movement, focusing on only moving the shoulders. This helps to improve your overhead range of motion which is critical whenever you need to bring your arm above your shoulder for operations such as casing installation or glazing. Hey. Movement 4. Shoulder and wrist flexion and extension. 12 reps. The name may sound confusing but this is how our arms swing naturally. Bring your arms up, overhead, with your palms facing the sky. Then, in a controlled manner, bring your arms down, behind you, 
stretching your wrist in the opposite direction from the overhead position. Don't just wildly swing your arms. This movement should be executed slowly, steadily, and controlled throughout the movement. This movement helps to improve shoulder mobility. while priming the small muscles in your forearms and wrists. These muscles are used when gripping, pinching, and holding tools or objects. Movement 5. Glute Kickbacks into Soldier March. For each leg, 6 reverse reps, and 6 reps forward. Begin with your hands on your hips, or at your sides. Then start with the reverse reps, using your right leg. Contract your hamstrings and glutes. To kick back, keeping your legs straight. Maintain an even upright stance, with minimal forward lean. This activates your leg's major lifting muscles, to help protect your lower back. After 6 reps, return to the standing position. Then switch it up and lift the same leg forward. Keep your hands at your sides with an upright torso and lift your leg forward, keeping it straight. You should be squeezing your quadriceps or thigh muscles. Execute a total of 12 reps for each leg six in reverse, then six forward, beginning with the reverse exercise first. So, when you switch to your left leg, repeat the same movements as the right leg, beginning with the reverse reps. Remember, you're squeezing these muscles, not just kicking back. These movements assist your hip flexors, improving hip mobility, while activating muscles that help to support and protect your knees. Movement 6. The Eye Pose. 12 reps. Begin with your arms at your sides or right in front of you. Bring your arms back. Opening your chest with your wrists extended. Squeeze your glutes and shift your hips forward. Tilt your head up, towards the sky. This will look like you are spreading your arms for a big hug. This movement is great for postural correction. All the muscles in the anterior chain, that are often short and tight, have the opportunity to open up through their natural range of motion. This helps to correct and prevent poor posture. Either this, or this are acceptable ways to perform this movement. After 12 reps, we will move on to the last movement in the dynamic stretch sequence. Movement 7. Heel to toe rock and wrist figure 8. 12 reps. Stand with your feet hip width apart and begin rocking from heel to toe in one smooth motion. As you rock, move your wrist in a figure 8 shape. Imagine there are two figure eights, one for each hand. Move your hands along the outlines of the two figure eights. Mirroring the other hand's movement, rolling your wrists. Try it now, while you follow the path of the blue arrows. Remember this movement, and apply it at your first group dynamic stretch. Combine this movement with rocking from heel to toe. This covers both wrist extension and flexion. This movement helps with balance, lower body coordination, and wrist mobility. These seven movements prepare your body for your workday. When you complete them, you should feel warm, energized, and ready to go. If you don't, you may need to re-evaluate your commitment to these stretches, as you might be executing them incorrectly. Remember, 
Pacing is everything. Take your time, feel each movement, and let your safety team know if you have any questions. Have fun, take care of each other, and as always, above all. Thank you for watching.